Sports Nation is brought by Toyota. Hello, I'm Colin Coward. That's Jen Brown. This is Sports Nation, the show that is going to start trash talking if the Jets and the Steelers don't. That is for sure. I watched the Steelers. What you make? conference today was a snoozer. I feel like both teams are maybe going to have a silver at their house. Really? For the game. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right, let's get to it. Karma and the King. Last week, LeBron James tweeted about karma on the day the Cavs got blown out by the Lakers. Since then, Miami's big three have caught the injury bug and have lost four in a row. 50% of Sports Nation said today that karma has something to do oh, with Heat's boy. misfortunes. Colin, seems like half of the nation is happy to see the Heat struggle. Are you? No, I mean, I think half the nation confused the word karma with caramel. People <laughs> like caramel. I don't even understand. Car Thank you. I mean, I don't understand the karma. Like, people believe in black helicopters, karma, Bigfoot. They're hurt, they're beat up, they're losing games. It's twisted ankles, it's not karma. I disagree. I, for one, believe in karma, and I think that LeBron is getting a taste of his own medicine. The Ouija boards <laughs> and mood rings, really. I don't know, I don't, why do people resent success? Like, okay. Why do people, re, why would you want to go see you 2 perform and Bono flub his lines? Okay, what about a pitcher's throwing a no-hitter? Are you going to not say something because you think you're going to I couldn't care, it means nothing. I, I don't I'm a little superstitious. Uh, you're superstitious. A little bit, yeah, I played softball, come on now. You really believe. Oh, if someone's throwing a no-hitter, you cannot talk. Really? Oh, you can't talk. So basically, it. a guy's throwing a no-hitter, and you believe you don't talk, and you isolate, and then he overthinks at the end of the dugout. Hey, whatever works. That works. We didn't talk wow. about it. All right, we have so Sports Nation. To Happy to see the Heat struggle. Let's see. Yeah. I, I think I'm so. not. They're yes. a great team. Why would I want to see great Come people Come on, guys. Struggle? Give me one. Oh. Yes. Starting off 1-0 today. That's a great way to start the day. Affection AFC. Been three days since the Jets and Pats concluded a week of trash talking. With the most watched divisional game in NFL history, the Jets are moving on, but they seem to have left the trash talking behind. Yep, the, the game green and the Steelers, complimentary. Mike Tomlin love Rex Ryan. The Jets have been singing nonstop praises for Big Ben. Jen, are you possibly <laughs> bored? That's what it says here. I am so bored. I'm so bored. Why? Because last week all we talked about was Rex Ryan calling out, you know, Belichick. We had we had already calling out Brady. Even Wes Welker got in on it with the foot references. It made the game more exciting because I wanted to see who was going to back up the trash. Well, well, can't you just enjoy the game and the essence of football? Like you watch the game and you're like, that's good football. I, but I feel like there's this like ad admiration society going on. Like they're like they're going to go hang out before the game, get dinner maybe together. They're all complimentary this that. Did Heinz Ward? Everybody today it was ridiculous. I didn't uh, yeah, see that. The thing about football is, I mean, I understand what the Jets are doing. They're trying to develop like a swagger and a brand. It's almost like they're selling T-shirts. They're selling jerseys. You really get it if you're the owner and Rex Ryan. But I don't watch games because of trash talk. Maybe baseball's boring enough that it would force me to watch. But football's the one sport I can I can watch Canadian football. It was that like tells last... you how much I like football. We have Sports it Nation works. bored see. by the lack of trash talk. I'm not. So. Doesn't bother me. Bored. Doesn't influence me whatsoever. So bored. Ah, oh, 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 boy. All right. Are the Bears being dissed? The Bears face the rival Packers in Chicago this Sunday. Jay Cutler are the home team, but they are not the favorites. Vegas experts have Green Bay as the faves, even though Chicago was the NFC North champions and had a better record than Green Bay this season. Colin, this has many people in the Windy City scratching their heads. Do you think the Bears deserve more respect? No, I mean, the Bears are what they are, and home field's overrated anyway. And by the way, the Jets, the Bears, and the Steelers, three of the four teams, were better on the road than at home. I don't think it's disrespecting them. To, to be an underdog at home. I think what's happened in the NFL, stadiums have more suites, they're smaller, there's more technology in the helmets, quarterbacks aren't bothered by the crowds as much. Sure. The best team is favored to win the game, and Green Bay is better than Chicago. Uh, all my family at home in Chicago, I have to say, uh, Aunt Marguerite, cover your ears because I am going to agree with you on this one. I think that the Packers are going to be the one who wins this game. Watch Aaron Rodgers the last two weeks. He has been lights out. He's been unbelievable, and I don't think it's going to change for this By the game. way, Aunt Marguerite, uh, you can cover your ears with me as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, to me, it just comes down to a very simple thing. By the time you get to this point, the reason you're a favorite or an underdog is Las Vegas. It only cares about money. And the reality is if you watch the games, Green Bay looks like a better football team, and we know Green Bay has a much better quarterback. That we both know. I agree. All right, we asked Sports Nation, do the Bears deserve more respect? Yes. We don't think so. Yes. I don't think so. Yes. No. You get back, you earn, you are what you are. All right. Next is Big Ben's image. Ben Roethlisberger was suspended the first four games of this season for his off-the-field issues. Since he's been back, though, he's been 
Sims said, quote, he's changed as a person. He's extremely friendly and he seems more at ease. Colin, has Ben Brothersberger repaired his image? I think so. I mean, listen, once you win in America, your faults disappear. Uh, we're not Canada. We're against Canada. America is aspirational. We, we have no ceiling. We love the Trumps. He goes bankrupt. We hate him. Then we love him again. Your faults, nobody has a fault when you're number one in the country in anything. I disagree. I with your image. Look, yeah. he's been good for five to six months, and it's the season. What does he have to do? He's going to practice. He's going, right. you know, to games. He, he doesn't have time to get in trouble. The offseason's a problem for him. I'm going to wait until he has a couple of offseasons where he's been good. Michael Vick went to prison. Back. I don't think his images are stored. Well, I mean, who buys a jersey from somebody they don't like? Uh, he's America. Doing well. They're buying the jersey because he's doing well, not because they think he's a good role model. I, I've never liked Big Ben almost more than, like, this minute. That's <laughs> <laughs> wins championships, Jen. Team three, any defense? Uh, well, Colin, they're pretty good. Team three had five sacks last weekend, and they're creating pressure without blitzing. They're only blitzing 13% of the time in the playoffs, and they were the third best defense in the regular season, ranked third against the run and sixth against the pass. That sounds pretty good. What do you think about that? I like that. This sure. is, uh, I'm interested. Oh, interested, kind of interested over there, That's huh? That's the first team I'm really Looking interested in. Looking good, team three. All right, same question, team one, how's their defense? All right, well, statistically, though, team one is even better. Ooh. Team one's defense gave up the fewest points per game in the regular season and the second fewest yards per game. They've created a turnover in 15 of their 17 games, including eight interceptions in their last five. Pretty good. Two which were returned for touchdowns. Now, not to mention, they do lead the NFL with 48 sacks. What do you think wow. about team one? Totally in to team one. Pretty good. Totally in <laughs> team one. I want to know more. Um, okay. All right, team one. Um, let's see. You can get to the opposing quarterbacks. Can mm -hmm. you protect your own? Ah. Uh not that well. Of the teams remaining in the playoffs, Team 1 has been sacked the most this season uh. in the postseason. At one point, giving up six sacks in a single game. In the regular season, they were ranked 14th in passing offense and lost two of their starting offensive tackles uh. to IR. Colin, got to make a really big decision here because you get one more question. Oh, Team 1. had so much hope. That's it's a big going. decision, I know. All right, one more question. Back to team three. Team three. Can you protect your quarterback? Team three, well, yes, they can. Team three has been the best team in the playoffs at protecting their quarterback, allowing only one sack. This helped their quarterback set a franchise playoff record with three passing touchdowns in one game. In the regular season, they were also strong, tied for third wow. fewest quarterback hits. This, this is good, Colin. I, I'm not going to influence you, but uh, it's time for you to make your decision. Who, Colin, is your well, Super Bowl sweetheart? Listen, um, I really was into one, totally okay, into one. One, so I mean, one was, was looking like good. I was flirting, I had a crush. Uh huh. But they can't protect their quarterback, and you Ooh, can't win. So one uh, is out. Two, two was just never a player at all. And four, four can't run. I'm going to go. I'm really excited to meet number three. Number three. All I'm right. So excited to meet <laughs> Knock the cards three. out. Number three is excited. Go meet your Super Bowl. <laughs> what do you think, Colin? It's the Jets. It's the Jets. <laughs> oh, you four. guys look cute together, Colin. They're so hairy. You guys look really cute. Wow. Um, I mean, I'm surprised. I think things could work out. I mean, you don't have any big flaws. I'm really All excited. Right. Well, bad news for Colin right. and bad news because it is time for three cheers.